Hello, my friends. How are you? How are you? I'm in a better mood this video. Don't worry. Not near as cranky as the last one. But unfortunately, I do have to start this video off with some sad news. Always something over here, right? Old this guy trucks always has sad news or tragic news. And we always have to start the video on a, you know, a bad note, I guess. But yeah, I got something very sad to say. Um, as you uh, guys, most of you know, I... Uh, <clears throat> I stopped by my house last week, right? So I was down in Texas and I, I got up to my house. Uh, my wife came and picked me up and I was getting all my stuff out of the truck to go home um, when I lost my mind, believe it or not. Can you believe all this guy trucks was going crazy in the truck? Just flipping out, cussing, yelling, slamming stuff around. I couldn't find my backpack, right? My backpack that has traveled the country with me everywhere I go. All my shower stuff in it right luckily all that can be replaced because I guess you can see where this is going I couldn't find it and uh, so I had to retrace my steps okay that goes with me every time I get a shower I just got a shower yesterday where was I why would I leave my backpack behind and it took me a while to finally figure it all out I went and got a shower and then I was really hungry right but I also needed to come back to the truck and record my next video that I was doing. Uh, so I ate my food inside at a table. And then when I was done, I went back to the truck and I recorded my video and edited it up real quick. And I hit the damn road while it was uploading to YouTube, right? And uh, I walked away and left my poor backpack in Texas of all fucking places. So now there's some goddamn... Texan molesting my backpack somewhere with their grubby little Texas hands all over it and I'll never get it back and I'm being serious with you I'm being honest I was very heartbroken I was sad because that backpack has been everywhere with me it has been no matter what was going on we're trucking we're getting fired from a job we're quitting a job we're doing whatever it is we're doing right that that backpack has been through hell with me and I abandoned it in Texas. Did you hear my voice crack just now? I'm still sad about it. I am. And there's nothing we can do about it. Like we can't start a GoFundMe for a backpack because a GoFundMe don't mend a broken heart now, does it? <coughs> so I've been carrying my goofy little Swift bag with me everywhere I go, which means I'm going to get bullied even more on Fuel Island now. So, um, Thanks guys for letting me forget that. I guess I blame you. I'm not taking the blame for my actions anymore. This is this is on you guys. Um, <laughs> with all that said, um, I do have people to thank for some super thanks on the last video. And uh, YouTube, have I ever mentioned that sometimes people get on my fucking nerves? Have I ever mentioned that? Um, last video, I mentioned that somebody left a super thanks of $50 on the previous video, and I thank them for it, right? And somebody said, Josh, quit begging for money. I don't know if I was raised right or what the fucking problem is, but when somebody supports you and gifts you something, gives you a gift, you say thank you. It's customary to do that. And I dropped the ball for a long time on YouTube because people have been sending me super thanks for quite a while. And I was being an asshole and I wasn't thanking them. <coughs> and if you're gonna send a super thanks, you deserve for me to thank you in a video at very least. It's all I can do right now. I don't have the money to buy everyone a PS5 or whatever. It's all I can do, all right? So I don't know what that was about, but you gotta, you gotta, before, the cool thing about typing, there's a really cool thing about typing, is you can stop and think before you press the enter button or the send button or whatever device you're using. And then you can, you know, redo it when you're fucking up. <laughs> so anyways, um, with that said, I want to give a big thank you to Junkyard Mo for the $10 on the last video. And uh, Junkyard Mo, I also want to apologize because I don't often put a heart or a like on your uh, comments, but I see you comment a lot. I think you understand. They're very nonsensical most of the time, but you're having a good time and that's all that matters. I just am not always sure what you're saying, but thank you for the $10. I appreciate that. Um, I'm glad you're having so much fun in the comment section too. And then I want to give a big thank you to Simone. Um, I believe it's Simone. And also, uh, I was educated in America and uh, I think this is Euros. I think this is Euros, 25 of them though. They said they're from Italy. I don't know if Italy uses uh, Euros or what. I was educated in America, baby, so I don't know anything. But I'm worldwide, how about that? <laughs> Worldwide, baby. Uh, we got some good news. 
about Swift today. Um, we'll get to that in a few minutes. I need a drink or something. I just ate some chicken kebab type deal and well, it's stuck in my throat. Anyways, um, oh yeah, I figured if I'm going to get on here and uh, bust Swift's balls when things aren't going right, I might as well uh, say some nice stuff about them too. <coughs> mm, I'm such a professional YouTuber, ain't I? God damn, this is why I'm hot, baby. I'm coughing on the camera and everything. Anyways, uh, we'll get to that because we're having a pretty good week and I'm exhausted, but uh, that's that's good. It's all worth it. Um, but before we get into that, what else do we want to talk about? Because there's just so much bullshit and I like making fun of bullshit. Oh, I... I almost forgot. I wanted to thank you guys uh, so much for just letting me be me on my last video. Like, I just had shit I needed to get off my chest. I was frustrated. I put out the video, and most of you understood. Like, hey, cool, we get it. We understand what you're saying. And I think a lot of that was I kind of just put my foot down on that video and said, I'm making the fucking video, all right? If you like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, watch a goddamn video you like. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? God damn it. Uh, there are seems like an overabundance of people not just in my comments but in everyone's comments it like seems to think they can tell the content creator what to do if I just want to rant and rave about whatever's pissing me off for the day I'm gonna do that all right uh, so big thank you to everybody that just you let me be myself let me be frustrated about what I was frustrated about and uh offered plenty of uh very sweet and heartwarming comments because I'm I'm gonna do it again like there's gonna be days where I'm just like off the fucking rails and I'm pissed off about this and that if you're here for the ride you're here for the whole fucking ride okay you can't be you can't cherry pick around here and say I like this but I don't like this I'm a fucking weirdo on the internet and you're just gonna have to deal with it so thank you guys thank you for just letting me do my thing it actually means a lot to me oh what else we got more um the High Council of YouTube Truckers is uh, trying to reassemble. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a power struggle right now. You know, they're trying to figure out who is the president of spending way too much time worrying about what other men do and bitching and complaining about it, and who is the vice president of spending way too much time worrying about what other men do and bitch and complain about it. And don't worry, the rest of the council just gets filled in with a bunch of yes men that just agree with everything they say. But uh, hey, I never would suggest bullying, but if you see people and their entire content is uh, worrying about what other men are doing, I wouldn't be mad if you mercilessly ridiculed them for being ridiculous and worrying about other men. I mean, they're trying to reassemble, guys. They're goofy. They're, uh, oh, I'm so worried about what this other man did at his job. Shut up. Jesus fucking Christ. Find something to talk about. Um, so that's a thing. Last thing I want to touch on before we get into uh, some uh, Swift stuff, some Swift stuff. Um, another Prime Baby showed up in the comments section. He was very, very grumpy, very grumpy that one. Um, he uh, diagnosed me with a mental disorder, which I actually don't think he's qualified to do. Like all of a sudden, Prime drivers think they're they're medical doctors. Uh, what? Just because they spend all this time checking each other's temperature, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, they they think they're qualified to diagnose people with mental disorders. I don't know that that's how the fuck it works, my friends. I'm not really sure, but uh, hey, keep playing doctor over there with each other if that's what you need to do. Um, but you're not really qualified to do this. And then. Then he told me he could sense through his phone that I, can you believe what we're about? You you guys better be sitting down. He could sense that I have a very low IQ. Me? Are you fucking shitting me? Are you shitting me? I have a low IQ? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't even know what IQ means. <laughs> I don't know what you're, who you're talking about. Um, but then he went on to do some weird shit. It was very bizarre. Like some weird proverb shit like these goofballs do sometimes. It's like, there was something weird. He who hath speaketh intelligence has something to sayeth, or some weird shit like that. And, and he who hath nothing to say is not intelligent. And I'm like, I don't know. They both sound like assholes to me, right? They're just people flapping their fucking gums. They're both just assholes for different reasons. I don't know. Uh, why are we having this debate? Like the pretentious prick over here that only talks when he thinks he has something intelligent to say? Is he any better than the guy that's over here that's always talking with nothing intelligent to say? Both sound like pricks to me. I don't like them. I don't like either one of those guys. But um, actually, I don't 
let people diagnose me in the comment section because that's a really dickhead thing to do. Uh, so I kicked him out the door, sent him on his fucking way. You know, I, I, I and then he bragged to me about a, his 401k. What a weird flex, but okay. Yes, yes. tell us more about your 401k. We're all so fascinated. Tell us more. Um, so I guess uh, prime drivers are still up in arms. I don't fucking get it. I'm over it, baby. I'm, I've got bigger fish to fry. As a matter of fact, I got videos to make. I don't know what we're doing. We're just, stop giving me fucking ammo. What the hell is wrong with you people? Come on now. God damn, just come over here and just give me more and more reasons to make fun of Prime. I'm tired of getting views off of your name, Prime. God damn it, can you rein your drivers in a little bit? Can we get Hirschbach to buy that piece of shit? Please, please, can we change the culture around there? I ain't ever met a Hirschbach crybaby that's crying about his company. Never ever met one. So hopefully that happens because one, I'll get to make a good video out of it. You know, I, I need to find out what's going on with that. Um, yeah, I'll get a video that'll get a lot of views if Hirschbach buys Prime. That'll be fucking sweet. Um, and also maybe they can just change the fucking culture. I don't know. It seems to me like Prime is taking these people straight out of their parents' basement the day they turn 18 and, and taking them out outside for the first time in their life and that's why they're all rambling like fucking neckbeards at me he who hath saith shut the fuck up what are you doing <sighs> let's talk to each other in the words that everyone else uses all right do we want the the good news um i mean nothing crazy is going on over here right i still uh got 135 miles to go on this load but i do want to at least take a few minutes to say, hey, Swift, good job, right? Good job, and I'm not actually being sarcastic. I know I sounded angry, <laughs> I don't know. It just, I guess it was like a carryover from the three videos I did where I was pissed off about something that now I'm just, I, I hear Swift in my own brain and I start shouting at the camera. Um, no, I mean, I, uh, like I had told you guys, I'm trying to explain this the best I can. I fucking hate when I say stuff and either I'm not a good communicator or or people just aren't listening. But what I was trying to explain once is my uh, dispatcher or driver manager or whatever, he reached out to me, right? I don't think he was told like from higher up in the company to get my ass in line or any weird shit like that. That would be crazy. And he said, hey, we are aware of your videos. I've watched a few. And I said, oh, okay. And it was a very awkward exchange. And he's like, look, I'm just saying when, when you get really frustrated, just try to maybe watch what you're saying. And he wasn't saying I can't be critical of the company when they're not doing something right. What he told me uh, was, look, I would just hate for you to get in trouble for going too hard on the internet. And and that, thank you. Thank you for, for looking out, right? But, you know, there were a few videos where I kind of got into their asses a little bit. Like, today's a little bit frustrating because it's Wednesday, right? And um, I'll get into that in a minute. We don't know when the pay period ends thing is still a, a problem, but it's working to my benefit this week, I think. Um, but anyways, I had, what did I have? Uh... I was, okay, so I was pissed off about uh, the the poor communication on the, remember when I got the boot bill? It seems like a lifetime ago now, right? Um, and nobody had the right answer, and I ended up, like, stuck with this bill that I thought, like, I knew I had to pay anyways, but I thought we had some sort of agreement for how this was going to pay, get paid to minimize the impact on me, and it ended up being, like, not good. You guys remember that whole scenario? Um, they did actually come back and fix it after uh, multiple phone calls and I'm not even going to pretend like maybe my videos didn't get some results either because I'm out there just fucking pissed right and going this is not fucking right and that's a huge reason I came here too. Yes, I wanted to get the views by coming to Swift. Of course I did, but I wanted, I've said this over and over. Don't no one listen to me. I wanted to come in as a veteran trucker and go to Swift and see what's right and wrong instead of listening to some knucklehead on the internet that thinks he fucking knows everything. I wanted to see it for myself and I saw something that was wrong that was really, really bad. I, I don't know if they've taken steps to fix that, th that miscommunication error because a lot of truckers don't have, you know, like YouTube to, to kind of help them out when things aren't going well, right? You know, and uh, 
and they don't have that big voice either to like make people pay attention right and so i was very frustrated about it and um i i mean we got some attention in in swift and that's a good thing that's a good thing right now i never ever like want to be in a spot where they're like park that truck and get the fuck out because then i've got a situation then you guys get to watch me cry on youtube because i'm like i don't know what to do fuck i'm in the middle of nowhere like the <laughs> I meant to do a video about this, but I haven't done it. They gave me a load from Texas to Denver, and I, w I was in my head. I'm like, oh, God, they're sending me back th to Denver. They're going to tell me to park at that terminal. <laughs> they're going to tell me to get the fuck out of the truck, right? Um, and then I had talked to my dispatcher that same day because I was having problems with my uh, empty call. It wasn't going through. And uh, he looks at my next load. He's like, oh, you're headed to Denver, huh? And I'm like, yeah, you didn't know? And he goes, no, I didn't know. I'm like, so I'm not going up there to get a stern talking to or get thrown out of the truck or anything? He's like, no, I mean, look, I, I just told you what some information you should know just to kind of rein it in a little bit if you're ever getting that pissed off, right? Um, and uh, he said, as far as I know, you're good. So I didn't get fired is the fucking point. But what I'm trying to tell you um, is right now, I am, I think, on my biggest week since I've been at Swift. Uh, they... Um, and I don't know, that's the fucking problem, because I think that since it's Wednesday, I can get this load in, and this one's like 1,700, 1,500, a little, 15, 1,600 range, right? And I already did 1,700 uh, when I went from, uh, from Laredo to Denver, Denver up to uh, Montana, and then from Montana, I'm making a mad dash across the country to try to get this done by the end of Wednesday, which should put me in the 3,200 to 3,300 mile range. Now, I know that's not like hardcore running, I understand that, but we're in a ship freight market still, and if you can break like 2,500 with any kind of consistency as an over the road driver right now, you're doing pretty good, right? Um, but no, since I've, I, I haven't talked to anyone else in the company. I think some have maybe tried to call, but I never answer the phone, like unless I know the number, so I'm not really sure. Um, so I, I'm not like throwing my weight around or anything crazy like that, because that would be silly of me to think that I'm gonna get on the internet and just bully a massive trucking company. That would be fucking stupid. But I, I think I kind of got some people's attention, right? The right people and said, hey, we gotta do this the right way, right? We, we got to get out there and we got to like bang out these miles. We got to give the drivers the right answers. That's fucking important. Give them the information they need so they can figure out how to solve their problem. And that's such a big fucking deal, right? But I guess the only part about today, like I was saying, I don't know which pay period it's going to land on. Like I'll check it, I'll deliver it today and I'll check the payroll thing on the portal tomorrow and see where it's kind of landing. And I'm going, if for some reason it moves on to the next pay period, I'm actually going to call them and say, Hey, can you move that back to that other one? Cause that's a big fucking week and I could use it. Um, but, uh, honestly, since, since my angry videos, uh, things have been pretty fucking smooth sailing around here, if I'm being honest with you. And one thing I don't want, though, because um, I'm not trying to say this like, yeah, I put Swift in line. One thing I don't want is any kind of special treatment from Swift. Like, they're like, this dude just got 10,000 videos just pissed off at some shit we pulled, right? Uh, we, we need to make sure he's taken care of. That's not what I want at all. Sure, I like that. That sounds damn good to me, right? But when stuff like that does come up, when I do make these ranting and raving angry videos and this shit's not right, I, I would really like it. Like I said, I'm not trying to bully a trucking company. I would like it if they would look at those processes. Like first fact check me, go through all the phone calls I had there and say, you know, if I got it wrong, then call me and be like, take that fucking video down motherfucker. Cause you're lying. Then I'll take the video down. Cause well, I just got caught lying at that point. Right. <laughs> I just got caught lying. But what I'd really like to see, is when something like that does happen, then um, they they look at their internal processes and and find ways to improve. The boot thing was fucking stupid. Okay, it was all on me. I I I have trouble taking the blame for it sometimes because I asked that fucking manager at Seven Eleven twice if I could park there, but there were no parking signs. And I'm smarter than that. That's why I don't just go park the truck wherever. I used to, as a rookie. I just parked the sumbitch wherever I felt like stopping and tough luck if you didn't like it. Surprised I never got booted or towed years ago. 
Um, but anyways, um, that was an $1,800 bill that we thought we had a solution to, that the solution got blown up in my fucking face and went to hell. And that $1,800, I don't care what anyone says because people run around the internet flexing all the time, talking about what they have and how great they are. $1,800 is a devastating amount of money to most people out there right now. Right now, it is. Um, anybody bullshitting me about how much money they're making just hauling general freight, uh, you, you got the wrong guy. I am not your huckleberry, as they say. I think they say that. I don't really know. I know what the freight market is. So these people aren't making 12 grand a week, you know, out here fucking running general freight. It's just not happening. $1,800 is enough to get a driver to panic and pack this truck up and walk the fuck away and never come back. Now, you guys might be thinking that, well, why does Swift care? They got 20,000 trucks or whatever. They've got all kinds of recruiting money and all these things. It's still probably in their best interest to try to keep as many drivers as possible, right? To try, because it costs a lot of money to recruit people. Not so much for us on the owner operator side, because they're like, yeah, just get here and sign your fucking paperwork and get your ass out the door. You're an owner operator. You're a big boy. Get to work, right? But when you're talking about maybe people they're bringing into their CDL schools, right? And they're housing them through that whole time or even drivers that, you know, need to go with the trainer still uh, or or they're just bringing you in as a company driver and they're paying for you to show up at orientation, get your motel room, whatever meals you have and all that. It's very, very expensive to keep churning through drivers. So I guess that's what I'm trying to say with this video. I probably maybe went a little too hard in the videos that I made, but I, you guys know me, I'm a fucking lunatic, right? I mean, I'm not one of those punchy lunatics. I just get real fired up. Oh, I had a whole bit I was going to do about that in this video. And I like to do the real funny stuff up front. So I'll have to save it for another time. I'll write down a note, but I had another little bit about the, the real punchy truck drivers and I'll, I'll get it in another video. I'll remember to write it down. So I, I remember, but, um, the point I'm trying to make is it has been very, very smooth around here um, ever since my, my little internet temper tantrum. And uh, I, I can't always say that I'm necessarily proud of my videos all the time. <laughs> I wake up with crippling anxiety some mornings, my friends, because I'm like, oh, fuck. Did I really do that, son of a bitch? After the last video, I went to bed and I thought that I was gonna wake up to a bunch of shitty human beings in the comment section, and I didn't, and I was so goddamn proud of my audience that day. Good for you guys, honestly. Like, fucking, th thank you for hearing what I had to say. You, you guys sometimes maybe don't understand how much that means, just being heard, and like, fucking, please understand what I'm saying. Um, but that video kind of, the next morning I didn't want to get out of bed, right? <laughs> so anyways, um, I know I forgot what I was saying. I lost uh, track of what I was saying. But uh, yeah, we're on our biggest week since I've been here. They've been pre-planning me and keeping me very, very busy um, since they heard about old this guy trucks, I guess. Um, but like I said, I, I'm sure... I, I do not doubt anyways. I don't know. I don't know if they even talk about this up in the office, really. But they would probably want me to say nice things, right? That's probably a given. So um, there may may or may not be a focus on, can we get, get this guy rolling or what the fuck's going on? But really, really, the biggest thing I want, the biggest thing I want, Swift, and I'm not trying to bully you, I promise you, if, if that comes up, and keep in mind, I went through like four or five phone calls, I think, before I decided to make the video. So I did try. I did try to handle it over the phone, um, but it didn't get me anywhere. Um, but if if ever I go and I go through the channels, I make all the phone calls and I still got to make out a video about, hey, they fucking dropped the ball on this one. Just look at your processes. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. OK, and, and tell me I fucked up. If I lied, call my bullshit. Swift, call me on it, and I'll delete the damn video in shame and say I shouldn't have done that. But uh, definitely, let's try to get them to look at their internal processes when things aren't going the right way. Is all that's that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I always tell people, you know, like, you know, that's why I did the last video, the last one. You know, uh, be be the change you want to see in the world, right? Um, do you? 
my problem, oh, here we go, I'm gonna rant again. <laughs> my problem though is there's too many people on social media in general that are just, um, is complacent the word, I'm not sure how you say that fucking word. Remember at the beginning, the prime driver pointed out I have a low IQ. Turns out we've come full circle and he's right, I'm dumb as shit. Um, <laughs> but anyways, when, when people see something wrong, it's easier to just like not say anything so that you don't become like the target of the thing you're pointing out, right? And I've been there, I understand. Um, honestly, being the target really doesn't fucking matter as much as people think it does. It's just kind of fucking goofy. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at in life, all right? I'm a 42 year old man, which is not old, but I've been around for a while. I've, I've been trucking for 10 years. Some people get annoyed when I say that. And the, the biggest thing right now is there's a lot of fucking young people watching me. I've noticed it. I've been paying attention to the comments and, the, and the, the people that are making videos. There's a lot of young truck drivers watching me now. And there's also a lot of young content creators watching me right now or aspiring to both of those things, right? And that's when I realized if I see something wrong from now on, it's my goddamn responsibility to speak up on it and say there's something wrong here. And uh, somebody had pointed out, and I'm not bashing the guy, he's a longtime commenter, longtime viewer. I'm not trying to say this in any way negative. He was just concerned that last video was gonna cause me to kind of freak out and, and like leave YouTube again. Um, and maybe I should just ignore and all that stuff. But uh, I, I guess maybe, maybe I think too highly of myself. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe maybe it's time to for me to be a fucking leader right like to it's say this is wrong and we can do better than this right uh because when i first came to youtube it, it was bad <laughs> It was really bad. And to this day, um, very, very few people want to speak up and say, hey, this, this is wrong. This is not how we should be behaving ourselves right now. And I figured, well, I'm up then. Let's fucking do this. Anyways, guys, that's kind of my good news. Everything's smooth over here for the most part. Um, I bought a 32-inch computer monitor because it was only $80 at uh, Walmart. Yeah, I didn't go... I didn't use your guys' uh, uh, super thanks to go buy a $500 computer monitor. It was 80 bucks at Walmart and I just need to buy a mount now and I'm going to mount that bitch because it's a mess back here right now. It, the monitor's on the bed, the box is on the bed, uh, but uh, once I mount that, it's going to look pretty slick in here. So I'm excited for that. Anyways, that's the video. Catch you guys next time. Bye now.